Hi again. Okay, this is this is going this is going to be like a um, little segment or little segments that are because I'm I'm watching over what I just recorded and I see uh, I'm more relaxed now and I see like big uh, mistake not mistakes but I should have really looked at it uh, presented it this other way and one of the first thing the most important thing that just now caught my attention is that when I'm talking about psychology it does sound like the psychological um, uh, growth and development in the science of understanding homosexuality and I keep saying the 50s the 50s and 50s well all for the whole beginning of the 20th century this this was developing well no because after the 1920 after the 30s let's say to the through the 70s um, why it is important and this is what I, I realized I, I made a mistake in, in the video um, they're spontaneous so I they come out really wrong sometimes is that I make it sound like if only psychologists had understood something they could have healed they could have pulled that person out of homosexuality and it's not really the character I want to give that point the point about the field of psychology understanding homosexuality better and that it, it happens to the species collectively it has nothing to do with the individual but it has to do with all of us individuals as we are the result of society and society as a whole is the one that makes let's say the numbers or the amount of homosexuality grow in in uh, adding all the volumes in each individual you know I see it like uh, as a multitude and as a mass that grows adding all the individuals together um, which is exactly the opposite than thinking of it individually now if uh, this like I called it sublime more sublime way of understanding the science of homosexuality through psychology and sociology um, had been allowed to continue expanding the hope would have been or the hope should have been not that they would have found the the magic bullet or the elixir to cure people or or to magically naturally have them go back to the person they would have been without ever having developed homosexuality or anything like that it is that through this understanding our the whole of our civilization can learn from itself and this is something that I completely left out of the video and I, I realized I should have put this instead in that place which is if we understand uh, as a sciences why there is an increase or why so many people are finding satisfaction in homosexuality we would directly be able to talk about sociological family issues cultural education social education uh, things that we believe at the civil level at the at the cultural level uh, our entertainment is causing this and this and that understanding I'm not saying changing anything I'm saying we would be wiser about understanding the effect we have upon ourselves and this is huge if we understand how we affect our development we are in, in essence we're in control of ourselves I'm not saying that we should go out and try to control it because ironically my whole the whole philosophy behind this um, this scientific dissertation if you want to call it that is that we are trying to desperately to control ourselves and forge ourselves to labels and categories um, I mean it in the, in, the, in, the, in the broader gentle sense uh, of awareness we would understand why how we're affected by specific details of everything that has to do with our culture and how, what our children are exposed to we would be aware and therefore we would be conscious of what happens to us by every effect through every effect because of every effect and that is a lot that uh, without get going any further is um, a wonderful plane to come to as a civilization is to actually know how we are affecting our own raising our own development the raising of ourselves as children 
or the development of the species because we don't we never have we just do things and whatever comes out and we we get afflicted and affected by our own civilization our own doings. we don't have any control over ourselves as an organism we don't see ourselves as a as a multi as a singular as a um, an entity a singular collective um, so much less do we have any idea how each one of us is affected by that collective but the understanding of what causes uh, development of homosexuality in the human species um, in a really um, um, how can I say this? Uh, in, in, in all its, its multitude of different ways and aspects and details would immediately uh, bring into focus sort of a, a three-dimensional map of what we're doing to ourselves. Uh, and yes, this could mean that we would have the option suddenly if we really wanted to uh, if we wanted to look at sexuality in the sense that uh, we choose to have uh, to people not to people come out sexually full as their as by their uh, by natural design full articulation of your arms full moving of your eyeballs <laughs> full fully functioning digestive system and fully functioning sexuality which means the only way that it is designed is to for men and women to go together and perhaps including a you know it's interesting because if it, this can keep going so to the point where you can say well conceivably there may even be once we calm down and try desperately to try to stop desperately plugging things we don't want to deal with and we acknowledge that uh, we would be the fullest humanity um, by being the, 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 the most nurtured and towards the health of our sexuality which will result in, in, in no homosexuality because that's simply how we're designed uh, and yet we are also human beings that um, that kind of have a the, the, the pleasure of choosing to play with our bodies and you know uh, you know we do things to our bodies and then we play against nature and if we go we stray too far we start getting uncomfortable and so we play in that area between the ex far extent of our uh, logical um, inventive um, intelligence until it fails until we hurt ourselves and then we come back and we have this enormous area of freedom right and so we could conceivably this could conceivably result in having a, a, a magnitude and a, a, a size, an amount of homosexuality that would be expressed naturally um, in, um, in, our, in a future culture, let's say, in which we are strong sexually and we feel mostly comp uh, most complimented and purposeful even without babies but just in, in having a sexual relationship with the opposite gender and yet we would have found perhaps an expression of homosexuality that maybe would only go so far and would only go uh, maybe so far in and so so lengthy in time maybe it won't be it wouldn't be an attachment for life but it would be occasional two or three male friendships in our lives typically that uh, there was so much fraternity, so much love and empathy and understanding in a, in a brotherhood that wasn't family but was social so that it resulted in sex, you know, and, and that male respect for each other perhaps naturally kept us away from, from perhaps anal sex, let's say, uh, because there was also such a maturity and understanding of how the male responds to the physicality of homosexuality that we were so sophisticated in that future that we had a form of homosexuality that kind of stayed within or maybe we did you know but it was very very exceptional almost tantric you know it was something that yeah I, no I never experienced it and somebody else would say yeah I experienced it once twice actually yeah I wouldn't advise anybody to do it more than twice I mean it could be a different world that is really true to the human form because we would 
know ourselves. <laughs> we wouldn't know our design, our, 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 and all the um, the natural ex this, uh, extents and places homosexuality w will go into and and refrains from going to, instead of um, carving and obligating a, a a shape to civilization that we invented through. Uh, through a, uh, in, uh, sorry, un, a, a detached logic of how we should function. This would be a humanity that whose social and cultural forms would conform to uh, a, a, a species we had not known. Um, and all because we uh, allowed ourselves to um, accept homosexuality for what it is and for really what it it really is not so desirable and also for all that it, it truthful sincerity would be desired by anybody if such well and all the stuff that I explained in the other video but I just wanted to correct this I'm gonna finish watching it now and make sure but I think this is the only thing I really wanted to um, make sure that it just it sounds like I'm saying well then we could the point of of the psychological sociological understanding of homosexuality occurring to a human species would be to to solve individual lives no that would be possible yes but the point would be that we would become really knowledgeable about how we affect ourselves because um, in, in sexuality is a resultant in sexuality uh, we express how uh, how well um, we are treating ourselves as children, how well we're raising ourselves, the environment and the chemical environment, and what our mother breathes when when we're when we're in the womb, and everything, everything. It's by understanding our our baby, our fetus, and and then the resultant uh, disproportionate necessity to continue seeking homosexuality as adolescents we would understand what's happening to our society and stop and, and lay off like hanging individuals or or blaming because it has nothing to do with the individual it, it is about what we nothing could be more socially concerning than sexuality if you think about it if you think about us as a as a living organism you know if you think about food you know it involves only the people that are hungry and in a group and maybe a two or three are hungry and the rest are not they go out to hunt you know maybe the other people ate this morning and they won't eat till tomorrow you know if you think of other phy physiological uh, things um, it doesn't necessarily it where we may speak different languages all, all our lives and forever be separate because they speak one language and we speak another language but when it comes to sexuality nothing could bind us more socially in fact evolution mixes dna right so the it's it's driving us to be <laughs> unloyal and we want to have these marriages for life and stuff and now we're realizing that maybe we acknowledge that the human natural design is not necessarily has more to do with being around the babies until the babies need us and then we start looking around again perhaps would be closer to our natural design so in as far as sexual as far as what could have more to do with the whole collective with all of us than sexuality nothing it, it involves everything so as such uh, homosexuality being within an expression of human sexuality it has to do with how we're affected by everybody else and what everybody else does to us growing up and before and after the womb and during adolescence and how we treat each other how they treat us each one of us some people say well that you trust sounding victimizing you're not victimized when every one of us is a child at some point we all have points where we're vulnerable and educated by the whole world and the result of how the world has treated us we're not little adults that need to carry our own weight when we're four um, so a lot of the social wisdom you know stuff that is thrown up is really carelessly applied um, it, there's nothing wrong in saying we are made by the world the world educates us on, on on how to put together our thoughts even and everything that we learn and learn to reason and how we feel everything is done by what come to our comes to our ears and our eyes which is how we're educated socially and intentionally um, and so 
what could be more a result of society's influences than something, a phenomena that occurs to sexuality such as homosexuality? Definitely it has to do with everybody else except the poor individual who when he found himself uh, arriving at the age of nine or ten or whenever he started noticing that you know but he couldn't say it to anybody the world right again still continues to tell him to shut up and not say anything or you know now it's a now supposedly now our kids are getting taught that if they feel that way it's because it's just one of two choices and it doesn't really matter it doesn't mean anything so we're always teaching something back right to know our sexuality our, and how homosexuality occurs to the species is probably the, the, the greatest, the most um, uh, knowledgeable science that we could become good and sophisticated at. If we're true to the human body, not if we force it to conform to our idealisms, but if we're true to how it happens in society, and we've demonstrated that we can start seeing we have shut each other we've shut others up because they're not going with what was having more power in their say in society and because that sector had more power or wherever it was government or some civil group uh, they were able to sh you know usually the ones that are right that are good that are, are more modest are more gentle are you know love is not so imposing evil is destructive and so wrong is uh, more pissed off and will tend to overcome the little voice that says hey i think i saw something you know <laughs> it gets but that such has been the world since the beginning um we have not learned to listen to where the truth is and honor and recognize it and push everything aside and, and let the truth give us uh lead us lead us yeah lead us anyway okay so this not too long I'm um, just gonna add this somehow to each video or something ciao